Hello everyone, welcome back to another Watch Me Work video on my channel. Today I'm showing you guys how I do these gel nails from start to finish, as well as how to do this really fun, summery, citrus, fruit nail art. They turned out so cute and I was super happy with them, so definitely had to share with you guys. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So this was her previous design, which I do have a video on these nails as well. It was a little bit more simple of a design. And her foils didn't chip at all. The only one that chipped is because she actually filed these nails down in between herself. So it did remove that little seal on the end. So you can see that there's a tiny bit of chipping on the end, but that's the only reason why it chipped. So first I am going to remove the previous design using my e-file and my violet carbide bit from Erica's ATA. And the violet coating helps it last longer and helps prevent the bit from like heating up when you're using it. So I, it's a great barrel bit if this is the type of bit that you like to use. So I'm just going to file the design and previous color off of all of her nails. So now I'm going into prep and I'm just pushing her cuticles back gently. It always looks like I'm doing it way harder in the camera, but I promise it's gentle. So I'm just pushing her cuticles back and then I'm going to start e-filing the cuticle area. So I'm using the Erica's Russian nib. I've used this in a lot of my past videos. You guys have seen it. It's one of my favorites for prepping the nail and removing all that stuck on cuticle from the nail. And I also included in here a different angle of me working. So let me know if you guys like that. Let me know if you want to see some different angles of working on clients. So in the left screen here, this is where I begin, where I start in the forward motion and I work from right to left. On the right side of the screen, uh, this is where I would do the next step where I'm working in reverse and I work from left to right. So now I'm going in with my Erica's Boss Lady Nippers and I'm just nipping off any of that non-living tissue that's kind of hanging up off of the nail. And then once I've done that, I'm going to go back in with my Russian nib and just make sure that that area is really nice and clean. Sometimes I feel like when I nip, it kind of reveals a little bit more nail plate that I can kind of get to and there's a little bit more stuck on cuticle. So that's why I kind of go back and if I see any little bits that are kind of still stuck in there in the back, then I will just grab those really quick.
So now I am just shortening her nails down and smoothing out the old gel and that's because I'm going to be encapsulating most of her nails for this design so I want to make sure and get those nails shortened. I don't want to wait till after I put the gel on. I wanted to use some of the glitters from the last summer's Light Elegance collection and they have such bright fun glitters and I haven't gotten to use most of them yet so I wanted to make sure and use those for this design so I kind of let my mom look at the different colors and she went with the orange and the green. Now I am preparing her nail for applications. So I'm cleansing her nails with alcohol and then I'm gonna apply my non-acid primer which is from Luminary Nail Systems. It's their Commit Primer. Now for the gel, I'm using my Accents Trinity Gel and this is in the shade SW1. And for all of the nails that I'm going to be encapsulating, I'm just applying a really thin layer on those ones. And then the two middle nails, the, the middle nail and the ring nail, I am going to put a little bit of a thicker layer because I'm not encapsulating those. I'm gonna put the design right on top of the finished filed nail. Also, I wanted to mention the lighting in this video gets a little bit off because my camera is having a hard time adjusting the lighting because my gloves are black. So I apologize for that and I have already noted to myself not to wear black gloves when I'm trying to record because my camera just has the hardest time trying to get the right lighting when I'm wearing these black gloves. When I'm applying the gel, I'm applying it and then I'm having her go in the lamp and flash cure before I move on to the next nail. And this is gonna keep the gel uh, in place so it doesn't move all over and you know get into the sidewalls and all over the finger. And it also helps prevent the heat spike from getting as hot because besides the thumb, each nail will be flash cured by the time you know it goes back in a couple times. So for one hand, I'm going to be using the green glitter gel and I'm going to create some really cute limes and then the other hand I'm going to use the orange and create some oranges. So for the glitter fade, I'm just putting kind of like a dollop of glitter on the edge of the nail, using my brush to fade it up just a little bit, creating a nice glitter fade. And then I'm going to make sure and cure that before I move on to the next nail.
Now I'm just adding a little bit of a second layer of glitter just to make sure that free edge area is nice, nice and concentrated. So I'm just kind of painting on a little bit more glitter on the free edge on all of those nails. Now I'm switching to my clear Trinity gel and I'm going to be encapsulating all of those glitter fade nails. So I'm just doing a nice thin layer of clear gel first and then a little bit bigger of a dollop and making sure it's as smooth as I could possibly get it. And then after that, we're gonna finish file. When encapsulating nails, a lot of times it's like one of those things where you just have to trust the process because the nails are gonna look kind of chunky and gloppy maybe a little bit, but once you finish file it and stuff, it looks so good. So that's kind of the point of encapsulating is so that you can take something that might be a bit, little bit bumpy and then make sure it's nice and smooth at the end. So, uh, you just gotta trust the process. They might not look very cute at first, but once you get to the end, they look gorgeous. Once those are all encapsulated, now I'm gonna make sure and finish file all of the nails into a nice smooth surface. So I've gone ahead and just skipped ahead of that and now we're moving on to the nail art. So now I'm just gonna show you guys all the products that I used to create the fruit nail design because I used quite a bit, just kind of whatever colors I thought worked the best for this look. So for the limes, I'm starting with that glass lime gel from Luxa. This is a really nice green because it's not like a really dark emerald glass gel. It's more of that lime color. So it's like perfect for this design. So I'm painting the shapes of the limes on both of the nails. For the oranges, I'm starting with the exact same thing, but I'm using the Nail Addict color, which is called Paradise Fiesta, and it's a really nice, sheer, like, um, mustardy yellow. And I wasn't sure if it would be too yellow, but it actually worked out perfect for the orange. In the center, I'm just adding a little bit of the glitter. So a little bit of the Kiwi to my heart glitter in the middle of the limes and then a little bit of the nice melons in the middle of the oranges. Then I'm going in with my second glass gel. So this is the Daily Charm Peach Bellini. It's a nice orange and I'm gonna start by painting kind of like an outline around it and then using my brush to just gently fade it into the other color. So you get like a really nice kind of ombre or like a really nice depth to the nail. So it's not just a flat color, you have a little bit of shading.
same thing now with the limes using the Daily Charm Glass Gel in Absinthe. It's a really nice, more of that emerald green, and it just adds the perfect kind of shading, gives it a little bit more depth. Now I'm using a white gel paint, which is from Magpie, and I'm creating that center piece of the fruit, and then I'm going around and outlining it, and then creating those little kind of almost raindrop shapes. If you look at an orange online or any citrus fruit, you know, you could see exactly what it's supposed to look like, and you could use that as a reference. And if you're wondering, I'm also using the Magpie Detailer Brush to do this. Now I'm doing a final outline around the entire fruit. And this is Magpie's June Bug. I thought it was the perfect orange. It looks absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just gonna do a nice outline around each of the fruits. And for the limes, I'm using Magpie's Tinkerbell. Just using a little bit of that glass gel on the fruits to make them look like they're kind of dripping like they're fresh squeeze just you know opened almost makes me like thirsty for we called this hand the uh, mimosa hand and then the limes are like the margaritas so <laughs> so I just use that glass gel and make it look like it's like dripping and it's fresh squeezed oranges The very last step was to take that white gel paint and just create some little lining or little veins in between each kind of teardrop shape. And that is what I feel like completed it, makes it look like it was so realistic looking. And then as well as I did a little bit of a highlight on the end of where that drop is coming from just to make it look nice and like shiny looking. And this is the end result. I hope you enjoyed it. I absolutely loved doing these nails. I always love food nails, but they make me hungry. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next. And thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed already. Make sure to like and comment and share. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.